Groupthink is, is probably the biggest problem I hear leaders complain about. Um, it's the barrier to innovation. It leads to all kinds of bad decisions. It gets in the way of change. So every leader I work with wants to know, how do I get diversity of thought? And what most leaders do is they assign a devil's advocate. They say, look, if we've got a majority opinion, we need to get somebody who's going to argue for the opposite. Unfortunately, most of the time it doesn't work. Charlotte Nemethic Berkeley has spent a few decades studying this, and what she finds is people aren't actually persuaded by devil's advocates most of the time. One, they don't argue forcefully enough because they don't really believe the position. It's like, all right, I'm going to play a role here. I've checked the box, now I can go right back to the majority view. And then secondly, even if they do argue with passion and conviction, their audiences tend not to believe them because they know, yeah, that guy's just playing a role. So how do you get dissenting opinions? The, the answer from Nemeth is that we need to do a much better job not assigning devil's advocates, but unearthing them. So find somebody who genuinely holds a different opinion and invite them into the conversation. Right? Look for the, the person who's in the silent minority and ask them, what do you think? Go out of your way to figure out who has a contrarian view on the topic that you're debating and ask that person to present the view and, and give them a chance to prepare for it. That ends up being a great way to fight groupthink.